Hey gorgeous, this is episode number 185. You are listening to Heart Cells Podcast. I'm your host, Christine Schlonsky, and I'm super excited you are here tuning in for another Variety Friday. Thank you so, so much for your time. And I'm super excited because today we're going to talk about the power of saying yes. And I just wanted to give you maybe a reminder or get that concept over to you because it has changed worlds for me. And the power of saying yes is such an amazing thing that we are not really, well, I would say consciously aware what this actually does. Over and over, I see that within me and my clients that when we start saying yes, a whole new world opens up, a world of possibility, a world where everything is possible, but we didn't know before we said yes. And I'm just going to give you an example because it's like a chain reaction that we don't see. It's hidden. But when we look back and we say where we said yes and how things kind of click together, it is so amazing. And obviously, every time we say no to something that we feel we should be saying yes to, the world closes up. It's like a big floodgate coming down and then all these possibilities go away which is really painful. And, you know, I've been there before where I thought, yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I don't dare. I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it later. And that later never comes, right? Because once we close that door, we usually do not turn around and go back. Or the door is closed if we try to go back. But saying yes is magical, And there have been lots of experiences by people. So when you Google it, you probably find some uh, TEDx talks. I think there's even a book or a movie about saying yes and what happens. And I want to invite you to have a look at your life to where you said yes. And I'm not saying that you should be saying yes to everything that comes your way, but listening to that little nudge inside of you, to that intuition, to that kind of feeling of excitement that comes up when you get that opportunity to say yes. And then also at the same time, it's probably going to be clouded by fear because stepping into the unknown usually is, you know, something we are fearful of. It's not that we have exercised it so often that we love to step into the unknown. But leaving the comfort zone is so important because outside of that comfort zone, we grow. So let me give you an example. And this is a personal example so that you can see how everything kind of clicked together. So I'm sitting here today recording this episode for you and I do it in English. As you might guess or as you might know, uh, it's not my native tongue, right? I'm German and I grew up in speaking German. But I had an opportunity. I had a possibility. One day my mom came in with a newspaper and they, she found a little ad where they said, well, you can apply for a scholarship to go to the US for one year. So I thought, well, why, why not? Let's apply. But then I got the partial scholarship, so now it was time to make the real decision. Now it was time to really get clear that this means packing up my bags, leaving my country for a whole year, leaving my family behind, my friends, everybody. To do what? To go abroad, to live with strangers in a language that I didn't speak, going to a school where I didn't know anybody. So by saying yes, it made so much more possible. I got to stay in the most beautiful host family. I made friends. I learned English. And coming back to Germany, obviously, first of all, I got straight A's in English, which was really nice. But that was not it. That was just the beginning of all these possibilities, of all these doors that opened up for me. It led me to do international studies. So I studied international business administration where most of the classes were actually in English. It also landed me my first job, 
where I got promoted really quickly to take care of the key accounts in the US and Canada. So that was all in English. And then from there, it led me to actually work for that exciting international company that I wanted to work for in Berlin, going from zero sales experience, saying again yes to myself, to becoming the sales director to now do what I do. It also enabled me to learn everything I needed to learn about how to do an online business, how to have that laptop lifestyle, how to be the lifestyle entrepreneur, because all the courses, all the seminars, all the coaches, all was in English. Just because as a kid, I said yes. And I want you to see that power. So when you feel stuck in your life somewhere, somehow, and you feel the nudge that saying yes is the right thing to do, but you just don't know how to figure it out. You don't know how to get it into your schedule. You don't know how to pay for it. You just don't know how to make it happen. Say yes. Because by saying yes, your whole energy will shift. You will go to a different place of certainty that you have not been before because now you are invested. Now you are invested from your mindset, from the time, from money, from emotions. You are now invested. And as soon as we get invested, as soon as we have skin in the game, we have possibilities. And the most beautiful things can evolve out of this. Just a simple example, saying yes as a kid to go to abroad. What else did you say yes to in your life? Have you ever changed a school, like went to a different school? Have you ever moved? Have you ever started in a new circle of friends? Have you ever, right, fill in the blanks? What have you said yes to and where did this lead you to? And then also have a look at what did you say no to? What doors did close forever? Because remember, you're always saying no to you. You never say no to the person or the offer or the course or whatever. You say no to you. And with saying no to you, you really close down. You close down all these amazing possibilities. So my invitation to you today is have a look at where you said yes and ha have a look at how things have changed afterwards. And um, as I said, I'm not talking about a yes that you feel like forced to. I'm saying like a yes where you feel deep down inside this is the right thing to do, but you just don't know how to figure it out. Have a look at what did you do in your life so far and where did it take you? What kind of friendships came from it? What kind of connections, right? Because I do speak English. I got to travel. I think by now it's like over 30 states in the US. As an exchange student alone, I've been into 21 states because when we traveled with my host family, uh, we always took the car. So whenever we entered a new state way back then, uh, they kind of stopped and, uh, on the highway so I could take a picture of the sign that says this, the, uh, the name of the state, right? So like really, really cool stuff. But what happened for you? What made it possible? Right? Because I got to travel, because I was so often in the US, because I speak the language, I have all these amazing friends over there. And people who are supporting me now in my business, who are sharing their ideas. That's why I was able to create this podcast for you. Because I have amazing people that I interview, heart-centered, impact-driven, who want to change the world, who are changing the world, and who share their success stories with you. That's why I was able to create the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass and the Heart-Centered Lead Generation Summit and so on and so forth. It's just because of that little tiny decision that I made years and years ago that supported me to open up all these doors. So have a look at yourself. Think about what kind of doors would you love to open. And then please, whatever it is you desire, go for it. We never know how long we're going to have. 
And I'm just, the biggest thing I'm afraid of is that we die with the music inside of us. And that wouldn't be something I would wish anybody. So my drive every day is to get out of bed and to put more of my music into this world. So remember, stop just dreaming and act now. Hop on over to christineschlonsky.com to find the podcast tab with the transcripts, the show notes, all the resources, all the amazing, amazing people I have already interviewed who support you on your journey. Start by listening, start by learning, start by opening up to possibilities. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I'm saying bye for now.